welcome to Landry on Gun YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. All right, I have an announcement to make. This is going to be old very quickly, but November 3rd, that's a Saturday. Boy, I better get that right. Uh, November 3rd, Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern, I am hosting a free two-hour webinar, and we are going to review the three-second manifestation. I'm going to answer questions, I'm going to talk about it, why it works, what else you need to do to reinforce it, and I will take your questions live. I'm going to start doing this a little bit more, uh, and then we're going to have live events. I have a cruise coming up next year, I have an event on a private island, <laughs> and I'm going to have some book signings and some other things. If you want me to come to your city, let me know uh, where that is, and maybe what I should look into to host some kind of an event. Anywhere from three day uh, courses to one week to maybe a couple days. I'm planning on a trip to New York and more. What you need to do is sign up for my Landry is Inspiration. It is an email list where you'll get weekly uh, inspiration from me and events. You get uh, free stuff, you get announcements, you get links and so you have to sign up here because that's where I'm going to post the link for that uh, webinar that morning. All right, so sign up if you want to uh, participate in all this stuff. Uh, you can do also do it off my website LandriaAnka.com. All right, so let's get on to something. Uh, somebody posted, you know, the three second manifesting. Uh, somebody posted that they really envision this stack of money in their bathroom on the sink and they really felt it and they really you know it, it was like it was there it was real they and they went in and it wasn't there and they cried <laughs> okay I'm sorry but really okay uh, <laughs> all right you cried that's that's cool uh, you know but um, here's what's happening first of all if we were able to manifest everything we thought like that without being in sync with that frequency. Like every time you said, I wish you would die to your parents, they would <laughs> drop dead, right? I wish you were dead. How many times did we do that stuff? Or I wish that she would blah, 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 you know, get you know, jealous or something in school or what. And you feel, you really feel, you really wish that person was, you know. And thank goodness it doesn't happen that way because we're not responsible. When you are on a higher frequency and you maintain it, you're not only making much more responsible decisions, but you are in that space. So when you envision that money sitting there, you are still the same person that doesn't have the money envisioning it. And that's a disconnect. It's not going to happen. It can't. And then you cry. That tells me that you know you have these expectations, and that's the ego. All right, you cried because you didn't get a material thing. So you're coming from a, uh, let's say, a frequency that really doesn't believe it. You can say you did, you really believed it, but you really didn't because you wouldn't worry about that money. You would know it showed up. You wouldn't need it to be on the sink. That's really sort of, I don't know, that's out there, right? You're, push, you're pushing the boundaries there. Is everything possible? But yes, coming from that frequency. So this is where we have a disconnect. Oh, I'm going to pray for the lottery ticket. I'm going to pray for the car. I'm going to pray for this. And you're the exact same person that doesn't have it. You're not becoming the person that has the thing that you desire. You're not thinking it, feeling it. And a lot of you are going into that space. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to feel and think about it. But you're still resonating on a lower frequency of needing the stuff to make you happy and that's not where all abundance and all manifestations on a higher level lie. This is why it's so important for us to raise our frequency, to give, to go into a loving space, to do the peaceful meditations. You, I know you want the stuff. I know you want the stuff. But the reason you don't have the stuff is because you think that way. You're in that space that is so disconnected with your power. That is not power. That's the ego. Thinking the material world is going to make them happy. So if you cried because you didn't get money, you're not in that space of abundance. Abundance is, I know it. You go in it, oh, it's not there. Big deal. I know I have it. And it does, you know, when you go into that space, you're not looking for a stack of money. It's not the money you want. 
It's what it'll do for you. So when you envision that lifestyle and you start to take the action to create it, what's happening is your, your energy is expanding in those spaces. You now become a different person. You shift into a new reality. You start to really think and feel and act like that person. It's like, say, I want to be skinny, I want to be skinny. And then you crack a beer and eat, eat a bag of chips. And you don't get off your duff. It doesn't work that way. We're here for the journey. We're here to evolve our souls. And as you evolve, manifesting becomes easy. Manifesting things you desire, I should say. You're always manifesting. Somebody said, how does this work? I said, you, there's no starting point. You're manifesting right now. Whatever you're thinking and feeling, if you're in a bad place and you're feeling bad, you're manifesting, which is keeping you right where you're, you are right now. When you realize, I have to be a different person, that person who is abundant does not act like you right now if you're not abundant. It's not going to happen. That focus does not make it happen. That three-second manifesting, it works because you're going into that space of envisioning and feeling it, and you're starting to get out of that negativity. And the more you do that, the more you shift over into a new reality, and you start to actually feel it, believe it. You release the requirements. You don't feel the lack. You just know it's done. You don't have a time limit on it. I know some of you have asked me about time limits. You know what? If you put a time limit on something, then you really restrict yourself. So maybe something was going to happen super great for you two months from now. The person of your dreams it isn't, doesn't live in your state or your city you know, for two more months. And you say, it has to be this week. So you meet somebody else who's not as great because that perfect person wasn't going to be here for two, two months. That's how it works. Do not restrict the universe on how it brings it to you because your higher self, which is always in action, will make it happen. But when we get hung up on the material world and me, me, I want, you are on low ego frequency. It's not going to happen. And it, whatever shows up is not going to be in the format. It's not going to give you the satisfaction because you're still in that space that that's going to make you happy. And you already are happy. You already are abundant. You are all these things. You're just not believing it. And you think if you do something, it's going to show up. If I think about it enough, I feel, you're coming from the exact same lack, and I need it. I'm going to create it like it's magic, not, wait a minute. I am that energy. I have to be that new person that now stops thinking like that. I don't even have to do this. You saw my, I reposted, and everybody's like, you look a lot younger, because it was two years ago. I posted a um, money manifesting ritual. I was having fun with you to let you know that these rituals and stuff we do, they're just, you believe, it's a placebo, right? Why, people can heal themselves without medicine because they think that the medicine that they're taking, which isn't medicine at all, is going to do it. You're doing it. And it takes sometimes that placebo to get you there. But if you go back to your day and you're the same person who is not responsible at work or isn't uh, getting an education to change what you're doing or isn't treating people right and expects the relationships to improve and all these things, you're not getting that. And I want you to get it. You know why? Because you're totally capable of anything. And it's waiting there for you. And you don't want to take the action, or you're not taking the action, or you don't understand that you can take the action to make that appear. And guess what happens along the way? When you go to higher frequency, none of that holds importance. None of it. You go off in a different space, and then the expansion is amazing. You will win. I used to walk in, and I, there was, I swear, there was not... A day went by that I didn't have some crazy amazing stuff happen. My friends started to say that I was scaring the crap out of them because, this was years ago, if I walked in a room they said, oh, Landria's here. They knew if there was a prize drawing that I'd get it, and I did. Usually the first prize. I was standing there talking to my girlfriend, I want to get a teeth whitening, and I, it was like worth 500 bucks, and I, they had like 30 prizes if you want anything. The room was full of a lot of people. And they called out, they said, there's a teeth whitening here for worth 500. They were naming the prizes. And I said, oh, that's the one I want. 
yep, not only did they pull my name, that's what I got. And my friend said, oh my God, you're scaring me. Because the conversation we were having before that was, how are you doing this? Why, how come everywhere you go, stuff is like showing up? Two carat diamond ring. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just it's crazy. I mean, I could go on and on and on of the stuff that was happening. I literally, material items were showing up. A pile of money, I'm not making this up. A pile of quarters, huge pile of quarters, out in the middle of a field. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? No, it wasn't a bank robbery. Um, so this is the kind of stuff that shows up that I'm not even trying to manifest, but I'm in a, such a place of abundance and openness, and I'm not surprised when it happens. I'm, like, really happy. I think it's fun. But it doesn't make or break me. And I'm in that space of, of total bliss. And so I'm on a happy frequency, which everything opens up. There's no obstacles or barriers there. So when you, you're trying to focus on the thing that you want, there's a very good chance that you, the person who doesn't have it right now, is still acting like the person who doesn't have it and is needing, wanting, having, and then you cry when you don't have it. Come on, really? This is not what your life is about. You are so much better and greater than that. And when you go there, that money's going to show up in a completely different way. Why does it have to be a stack of cash? Really? Come on. There's abundance in so many ways, and it will show itself to you, and it will blow your mind. Now, you guys are writing me with awesome stories because you're going into that space, and you're letting it go. You're going, okay, I'm not about this. I didn't come to this planet to just sit and try and manifest money because guess what? You're not happy, right? I know you're not happy if you're going into that space because no money, no car, no home can ever be enough because that's not what you are. And that, that beautiful spirit that you are that connects to everything desires to reconnect to itself. And that stuff that you keep trying to get to fill it, it's not working. This is why so many people that have a lot of stuff are so unhappy. Why movie stars kill themselves. They're just not happy. No money or position or popularity cures whatever they're going through. So I hope this makes sense for you. Um, you know, when you focus just on the material world, and it's not that you can't have that. That comes along with the package. I mean, it happens constantly to me. My focus is such a much bigger, uh, let's just say, vision. And it includes all the wonderful things that I get to experience in that. But I'm not, what are you spending your time on, right? Get the money, get the money. Mm -mm, uh -uh. How about getting this right? Getting this to be, how can I be the best possible person I can be? How do I raise my frequency? How do I get out of this ego mode that thinks stuff is going to make me happy? That is what you should be focusing on if you want to truly uh, experience abundance. You are whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Join me in my, it's not a meditation, on November 3rd, Saturday, November 3rd, I think it is. Check it, I, it's the 3rd, yeah. Um, because that is actual training, right? I'm not, the global meditation I tape because, you know, not everybody's going to be there at 9 o'clock for the global meditation. But whoever shows up for the uh, training, uh, it'll be fun. I'm not sure how many I can have on there, but... Everyone is welcome until it fills up. So sign up for my inspiration. Namaste.